our channel. Hello everyone. So I am back with another session on related to statistics. I will be covering today the different types of statistical data. I have already made few videos related to quality, statistics, six sigma and reliability. Do check out all the videos on my channel and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. So let's begin the today's session. Today we will be covering the different types of statistical data. So before we begin, let's look at the definition of data. What is data first of all? So data is basically a collection of facts such as values or the measurements. It can be a number, word, measurements, observation or just even the description of things. Okay. So here it is uh, important to look at how we collect the data. So data collection is one of the most important and critical step in carrying out a statistical study. The quality of data gathered determines the quality of study. So we have different sources of how we collect the data. First is the primary source, another is the secondary source. So primary source comes from your data uh, resulting from an experiment or a data collected in an observation study. Secondary source is more of a uh, you have the uh, data that are made available by others. So examples could be the reports, books, catalogs and brochures or, or it could be just surfing the internet looking at all the information from the uh, which is made public to the uh, which is made public to you. For the primary data, primary source of data you can look at the surveys, you can, you can have a surveys, questionnaires and observations. So here we have the broadly speaking two different categories of data. One is the qualitative data, another is the quantitative data. Qualitative data are basically categorized into two things, nominal and ordinal. And the quantitative data basically categorized into two categories, discrete data and the continuous data. Discrete, if you can count it, then it is discrete. It's the straightforward definition of discrete data. And if you can measure it, then it is continuous. Say for example, length, weight, temperature. For the nominal data, if you can brand it, then it is nominal. Say for example, gender, male or female, or in the form of color. And ordinal, if you can order it or rank it, then it is ordinal data. So here the numerical data can be classified into the two categories, discrete and continuous. Discrete data can only take certain values, say for example, shoe size, number of children in the class, number of sweets in the packet. The continuous data uh, however comes from measuring and can take any value within the given range. For example, the weight of banana, the time it takes for a pupil to get to school, and the height of a 13 year old students. Uh, here we let's look at some examples of discrete and the continuous data. So the number of correct answers on a 100 point multiple choice test obviously discrete number of goals of each football team in a fifa world cup obviously discrete because you cannot have the goals in the form of say one team scoring 3.5 goals and another say five goals height of tsunami waves in different affected countries obviously it is continuous because it can vary then we have the some examples of difference between the qualitative and the quantitative with reference to the, this dog. So let's look at what is qualitative. He is brown and black in color. He has long hairs and has a lot of energy. That is the qualities. And what about the quantities in the form of discrete and the continuous data? He has four legs. He has two uh, brothers basically. That is one of the examples. What about the continuous data? He weighs 25.5 kg and he is 565 mm tall. That's the difference between the qualitative and the quantitative data. We are talking about here. If the data can be ranked, then it is ordinal. If what about the, then what about the interval? If there is a meaningful difference between the values, then it is interval. And if you can assign a zero to the meaningful values between the diff between the difference between the values that you they add the ratio. Then we have the difference between the nominal ordinal interval ratio. Let's look at the example of nominal data. The Marshall status, the type of cars on 
that is your nominal data ordinal service quality rating because you give rating to it then there is no such uh, exact difference between the ratings but in interval there is definitely uh, have a uh, standardized exam scores that is a perfect example the temperature in fahrenheit then what about the ratio data height each and say what spending because you have a true zero existence here so uh, let's look at another example of different scales of measurement when we have the nominal ordinal interval and ratio uh, for the ratio uh, the perfect example is the money because you have different value of zero from which you can reference say hundred dollars then we have two hundred dollars three hundred dollars and so on for the interval it is ordered but doesn't have the, uh, the equivalent zero best example would be temperature or fahrenheit ordinal will be the how you come uh, first second or third in a race that is a position that is defined but there is no definite interval between the first and second or second or third and the nominal will be the gender say male and male or female so that's all all i have for this session guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will be posting more videos related to statistics quality reliability and six sigma soon thank you